Before we move on to ellipses, for those of you who did the symbol sprayer quest, hey, look at that. This is a symbol. If I edit this symbol, did you notice what it said? I'm editing this symbol. I'm going to go ahead and change it. Let's just swap out those colors, huh? And go ahead and um, hit escape. All of the symbols changed. How cool is that? Click on that. Edit the symbol. Don't break the link. Yep, yep, yep. We want to do that. We want to edit this. There we go. Hit escape. All of them changed. Symbols are so cool. Okay, but speaking of cool, same thing holds for the ellipse tool. You know, I know it's an ellipse tool and it draws ellipses. I'm going to hit Command-Z and I'm going to hit the letter D in order to get back to the default colors. And yeah, 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 you can draw an ellipse and I want it to go on an angle, you know. Whoops, I drew another ellipse. Want to know a secret? If you want to get the the selection tool, but you want to keep the ellipse tool active, you hold down command and you got the selection tool. And now you got this ellipse on an angle. Oh, cool, huh? And you can go ahead and resize it. Anyway, now I got the ellipse tool again. So I'm going to hit delete and command, select, hit delete. The same thing holds for this. When you hold shift, you draw a perfect circle. You hold option before shift and you draw a perfect circle from the center. And you might say, okay, great. I, I want the, the selection tool and I'm going to hit the letter V because that's an easier way to do it. All right, so that doesn't look like a circle, height and width. It is. It is. My mind is playing tricks on me. I've been up too long. What tricks? Can I turn a circle into a square? No. But I can come over here and make a Pac-Man. Or go all the way around, make a little slice of a pie. You know, you can even go on the other side and bring it back that way. This is kind of cool. And I can see lots of different ways to use this. But right now, I just want to tell you, I'll give you one more trick. You know how we get the selection tool and we move things around? And we use the direct selection tool to change that corner. Hey, look, a live corner. We have live corners here. So if I got to hit the letter V and get the selection tool, and look, no live corners. <gasps> hit the letter A to get the direct selection tool. There's a shortcut for you. Oh, look at that. But it affects all of them. Whoa, cool, huh? I'm going to undo. You know what else we can do? We can grab a single point. I can click once on that point and pull that down. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We can start adjusting these things. Hey, what's this? What is this? Look at these handles. What do they do? Whoa, cool. What can we do with that? Does that make any sense? Whoa, you can really stretch this stuff out. Yeah. Wasn't this a circle? Hmm.